It is dramatic and dangerous. For the first time, we're seeing a deadly firefight between officers and a gunman who was barricaded inside a local motel. That gunman was killed in the shootout, and a police officer is still recovering. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. The district attorney now says officially the use of deadly force was justified. And we want to get right to Katie Brace live in Braintree with the details. Katie? Well, it really shows the seconds that officers have to make a life or death decision. When officers knocked on a door at this Braintree Motel, they were under fire within a minute, and the exchange of bullets all happened within 10 seconds. Within seconds, two officers announcing their presence are involved in a gunfight. The district attorney's office released this surveillance video from May at the Motel 6 in Braintree. The officers were serving a restraining order on Tysaia Robinson when he fired at them. The gunshot flashes while seen on the surveillance were heard real time <laughs> over the police radio. Shots fired. Get us, get us I'm hit. I'm hit. Officer Donald Delaney was shot in the face and falls to the ground. He and another officer retreat, seeking cover behind a pillar. WBZ security analyst and former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis says releasing this video is important. I think it describes to people exactly what police officers face in a situation like this. The district attorney's report found Robinson tried to kill himself with a gunshot. Police bullets hit him in the leg and fatally in the head. The report found the officers were justified in shooting to protect themselves and others. It oftentimes we'll hear people say, why didn't they shoot them in the leg or shoot them in the arm? It, these encounters uh, happen within seconds, uh, and it's, it's life and death. Now, the good news, Officer Delaney is expected to make a full recovery. Now, a judge recently upheld Braintree's decision to force this Motel 6 to close, citing all the problems, but the motel is expected to fight to reopen. Reporting live in Braintree, Katie Brace, WBZ News.